thank God. Thank goodness. Okay, Devontae Adams and, uh, uh, you know, uh, Cooper, Amari Cooper, are where they're supposed to be at. Thank goodness. I hope I don't hear nothing about them jokers anymore. Okay, so everybody was crying in their tears and their cereal and why don't we go get this and get all of that. And, you know, everybody wanted to be the GM these past, the bye week. Everybody wanted to be a GM. And they still won't be GMs now. So uh, I let these guys up there handle it. Uh, it's, it's crazy what I was just seeing, man. But thank, I'm glad he's up there in New York. Good for you, Amari Cooper. Uh, y'all still not going to win it. Uh, uh, well, Cooper up in Bills, they still not going to win it. Jets, uh, Devontae up there, still not going to win it. So, oh, well. So, I'm glad they yeah. got what they wanted. They wanted out, they got it. So, yeah. Uh, I, I will say, yeah, what, what, what Amda says here, JD, Coach Reed's press conference sounded like you. We like what we have in house. And basically, what, I, what the reports, some of the reports I've read this week, um, it sounds like they're going to let it, things play out. We still have, like we said, there's still about three weeks till the trade deadline. Let things play out because they like what they have in the, in the room. If they are going to make a move, it's probably going to be around the edges move, another another kind of veteran to be around. It's not going to be a, you know, a Mario Cooper or a Devontae Adams type. And, and please, I don't want to hear about Tyreek Hill anymore. That's not happening. <laughs> Uh, it, yeah, I, I don't think it's happening. I don't. So, <laughs> you know, we can beg and plead. Oh, my gosh. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? And th- we've been saying that for a number of years. Well, a lot of us have been saying that. Uh, some. I haven't really been saying that as much. Uh, but they've been winning championships. And I like, just like Andy said, we, we, we you know what you got, okay? The W you know. You know what you have. Go with that uh, and be okay with it. Until it's not okay. And so I think they, they're okay where they are right now with the guys that are very talented in the room to get things done. They understand the system. These guys work well together. Um, and so they're, they're solid guys. They're solid performers. And that's what you need. You got We, we got running game. We got tight ends. We got an offense line. And we got wide receivers. Uh, and so if it comprises of a team, that's what wins championships. Okay? Said this before. You know? And I'm glad Marcus uh, Spears was talking about this. You know, with Chantel Shannon and, and and Stephen A. Look, I don't care what you say. The road to the Super Bowl goes through Kansas City. Those are the guys that's on the top of the mountain. Pure and simple. Those are the guys you have to beat. If you want anything to say about the Super Bowl, you better come see the Super Bowl champs. Okay, the ones that's been hitting everybody in the mouth for the past few years. So, um, hey, go get who all you need to do to re up. You know, put out put. Put everybody in the barn if you need to, okay? Load them up on the wagon. Get them going. And guess what? The Chiefs are just going to pick these jokers apart like they've been doing the past few years. So, uh, yeah, they better recognize. I'm glad he, he stood up and said something. So, Yeah, it, based on everything I've read, obviously, Cooper out, obviously, Monty Adams out. The guys who are still around and and the, some of the – you just put the dots together. If we were going to go after a guy, it would be a guy who knows the system already. Um, cause you know, if you look at it, we go Hardman last year, we bring in Juju, uh, the mm-hmm. red foot season starts. They like guys who know the system. So that kind of limits things. Um, and MVS officially released from Buffalo this week. A lot of people think he's going to come back to town. Um, Demarcus Robinson, who's on the Rams, another familiar face, uh, you know, Rams could be selling guys. And then, you know, Byron Pringles, a free agent. If you want to go even deeper, Darius Slayton, who plays with the Giants, Mike Kafka is the offensive coordinator who was our QB's coach. So I'm sure there's some crossover and overlap there uh, with the, you know, some of the verbiage and then uh, Christian Kirk down in Jacksonville, that team's looking to implode. Probably, probably when they come back from uh, England uh, after this game, this Sunday, there could be some more movement. They traded a defensive tackle who who's, they signed like last year for big money. They traded him this mm-hmm. week. Um, so Christian Kirk could be on the move again, Doug Peterson crossover and overlap with some of the verbiage that we have up in uh, Kansas city. Again, but with that, with that though, comes the money aspect. Christian Kirk makes a lot of money, whereas Demarcus Robinson doesn't make anything. Money. MBS, nothing. Dar- Darius Slayton, nothing. So that's where the, where the wrinkle it would be there. Um, but just curious on some of those guys, the names you've heard, JD. What, what, what do you think about those guys? I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, look, I, I think we're good. I think the same thing with Christian Kirk. I like him. Uh, we know he's a very talented wide receiver. Uh, I think we were covered to him when he came out free agent. 
uh, and he went down to, 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 to Jacksonville. But he is. He's a, he's a high ticket. He's a high ticket. You know, it's going to cost you something to get a Christian Kirk. Um, and so, you know, we can say all these different names, all these different reunions. We can try to put all these different things together. And, uh, you know, you, oh, and it moves this way. Man, nobody knows. They, they just don't. And so, um, shoot, I have guys that, that I think are very talented, that I think are very young, that if you did anything, I would try to move in that direction, you know, uh, if you will. I'll tell you who's a very talented guy. Um, and I was just kind of looking at rosters, okay? Uh, this guy went a high draft pick, but he came in and gave something when some guys are out. And this was a Minnesota Viking. I'm going to tell you who it was. Uh, it was uh, Jalen Naylor. Jalen Naylor. He was a guy, man, I was just like, you know what? You know, that room's a little crowded. You know, he's not a high pick. You know, they got they already got weapons up there. But, you know, it's people that come low. We talked about Romeo Dobbs is another one. Neff, if he's still on here, you know, we, we said Romeo Dobbs is another guy that we'd like to have. There's a crowded room up there in Green Bay. I told him that, too, you know. So. He looked pretty good last week. They, 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 they did a good job of trying to get him the ball a week after him, uh, apparently, you know, not happy with his role. And he said everything is kind of watered on the bridge there. So. Yeah, you know, you know, mouth says anything. So you, you get two touchdowns to be happy with anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then, does that mean somebody else is going to be pissed off? Because you know, now all of a sudden, you uh, you give into all his demands. He's he's pouting now. You feel like you got to go ahead and do your little pity party to pout, and you know, let me get my touchdowns and catches. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know, man. Listen, I, I I've said this, and I've always advocated before. And like Andre Brown said from Andy, he liked what's in the room. You know, we like that. We like it until we don't. And so that's the way that's the way it is. <laughs> Ness said, we good. You know, he's a he's a Green Bay guy. So uh you know, we hey, y'all not quite good. Yeah, we, we can get one of y'all if y'all don't need one. So no matter, we'll see. We'll be fine either way. We'll be fine either way. So uh I I I believe that. And so I said this, Marcus. What Think about this, okay? And I thought about this before the show. What if, what if, we remember we was talking to Dr. Cho, right? And he was talking about this surgery for Hollywood Brown was unprecedented. And they didn't quite know because he never really had anything doing that like that before. What would, what would be the possibility that Hollywood Brown may come back because if it's something new, it's like, wow, this thing is healing a lot faster than what we expected. Go, 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 yes. That's a first down, that's a first down, that's a first down. This football season, I'll be putting down normal sodas like Coca-Cola for Olipop. Olipop offers a healthier alternative with its low sugar content and natural ingredients. Olipop is more than just a drink. It's a wellness companion that supports your digestive health. Packed with prebiotics, this fizzy elixir helps promote good bacteria in your gut, leading to improved digestion and overall well being. So go ahead, click the link in the description and use promo code SODALOVE and get your can of Olipop so you can enjoy the game guilt free. Go, Chiefs! Use the promo code Soda Love for fifteen percent off now. Right? Could you imagine Hollywood Brown coming back? You know, uh, in about a month and a half or so. I mean, he'd be right on time when you when you need a guy. You know, and if he's progressing, the Chiefs may know this, right? Uh, obviously, they're not going to give their hand up. Like, well, should we ain't let nobody know Hollywood Brown's coming? You know, and and if everything's looking good. Right from the surgery, and I, I I don't know. I haven't really done the research. I just know he's what he was saying. I'm just like, huh? What if that is something that might be on the horizon of him actually, you know, healing up faster than what they expected? That would be incredible. That'd be incredible. Could very, could very well be the case. I mean, they, they've been very like kind of vague on on his injury. I mean, the whole thing's been kind of weird with the whole thing. But since he got the surgery, it's like, oh. You know, he's done uh, indefinitely, and they say, and some people were, some people were speculating that he's out for the year, right? And what does that mean? 
what does that mean? Out for the year, out for the calendar year. So what? At twenty twenty four, he won't play in twenty twenty four because I mean they're technically not lying about that. And then yeah. you know playoffs, they leave it on the table because they didn't say out for the, the entirety of the season, including playoffs. Uh, but Doctor Chow, I mean, he didn't really say much as far as it because it's an unprecedented kind of thing because you don't really see that surgery happen that often. So we're kind of right. embarking on new territory, new water. So I mean, there's there's definitely a chance that Hollywood can play this year. I mean, I, at least as far as. They haven't, really, they haven't ruled it out yet, so there is still that chance. And also, it makes sense, right, if there isn't this rush to do a move, because why would you do a move if you know somebody's coming back, right? I mean, so it's like and, Absolutely. And, you know. and let the guys, let the troops, man, hold it down until his return, right? Just hold it down. That's what we need guys to do. Now, this, this you got San Fran, uh, Vegas, uh, I think Tampa Bay, and uh, uh, Denver. In this little stretch, right? That's that's the way we're looking at it. So it's going to be a good stretch to challenge guys to see exactly what they uh, what they can do. And I do believe in these guys; they have the ability to get past these teams. And we we talk we we talking all offense. We haven't even said anything about our defense. It's the same thing with Charles Ben, who get back. We're going to be a more dangerous defense than what we've been so far, which is scary just to say that because everybody's been playing at a high level on that side of the ball. So. Yeah, no, I, I think I saw someone um, comment on our video with the D line only having nine sacks so far. People were saying like, maybe we should go tr- grab another edge rusher. It's like, no, I mean, because we're playing so well without that, without having, you know, without getting to the quarterback, right? Without getting sacks, you have a Menahu coming back, so you already have that re- resurgence coming. So basically, like we're making a trade midseason to get Menahu back, essentially, because we haven't seen him all, all year. So Menahu comes back within the next few weeks. We're set at edge rusher. And then, you know, and then other things happen and potentially Hollywood Brown comes back, comes back. So like we're said, well, we, we look, we look good, especially with kind of guys coming back. CEH is coming back. Um, and I saw, um, well, I saw someone say online, it was like one of those doctors saying, oh yeah, like Pacheco is going to come back within three to four weeks. Um, CEH is going to eat into Kareem Hunt's carries. And it's like, I don't, I mean, I'm just asking you, Jay. I don't think CH eat in the Kareem Hunt's carries. I, I think he, I think he would eat in more to what P Ryan's been doing more so than Kareem Hunt. That, that's my opinion on it. What, what, what do you think? Uh, that could be true. That that could be true. Something with P Ryan. Here, here's also the reality too. Maybe even a CH man. It's somebody you might put out in the slot. You know, you might be able to utilize him on in in doing those things in pass catching and whatnot. And if it's just something where we're we're trying to get, you know, a couple of wide receiver screens or some screens to some running backs or whatnot, we we just we hate to call them wide receiver screens, screens to to athletes in space. That's what we want to be able to do. Um, and so it, it don't have to be a whole huge lot, but just enough, right, to give you something. So my thing is, Ceh is very capable. We know he can catch the ball out of the backfield. He can catch the ball in space. Um, and any matchup that you have against a, a linebacker or safety, uh, I think you win. So I, I, I think, you know, for, for us, um, sure, we, we, we're in a good place, man. We're in a better place than what people think. And that's why I didn't want everybody, you know, uh, he and hawing, oh, yeah, well, I don't know if we're going to be all right. And, you know, it, the only ones that have the type of anxiety is us, the ones, the people out here, okay? and it's really kind of funny because none of us are playing a game. It's the guys that's in the building, the guys that, you know, come out every day is just doing it. So, yeah. Uh, you do make a great point, though, with CH being potentially being utilized from, from the slot and as a receiver, because, you know, as we talked about, that was one of his big traits coming out of college was his, his hands. And he's displayed that many times for us, uh, his ability to go get the ball. Uh, so uh, I, I like the idea of that. And also, too, I think uh, Rick Harrison asks, are they going to keep all the running backs? Because, it is, it is a lot, and but we're seeing, you know, they're keeping a million tight ends on the active roster. You're not keeping that many receivers. So yeah. do you go with the model of keeping Hunt, P, Ryan, CEH, Steele for four backs? That's. I mean, it's a lot, man. But it, but it's all predicated on how they want to make adjustments, how they feel they want to utilize the athletes and their pieces. And that's where they're so – they're they're masters at doing it. Andy and, and, and you know, uh, Nagy. Of putting this thing together, this whole entire, you know, offensive, you know, coaching staff, like, Hey man, how about this? We can, we're utilizing for this and, and maybe putting this guy here. Uh, Cause it's all about matchups. It's all about matchups. It's all about, you know, my Joe is better than your Joe. My guy is better than your guy. 
And so uh, that's what it would look like. We could do a lot of different things because we do a lot of different motions, give a lot of different looks, um, you know, shifts, everything to defenses to, to see. Uh, that's a good thing. That's the beauty of our offense is because they're so creative in how they, you know, they attack defenses that anybody can be a weapon, anybody. So like I said before, we, we're in a better place of what people think and what we say. So uh, <laughs> I'm the Brown said, where's Sammy Watkins? Is he in shape and healthy? <laughs> yeah, oh, man. I don't know. I think Sammy, <laughs> ain't, Sammy ain't, yeah, I don't think he's coming back. I mean, he's Don really going. He's really reaching for a reunion tour. If you want to go get Sammy Watkins, <laughs> yeah. Don Biddy said, "We really need to see how good Hollywood is in our system. May want to retain him for next year. I think we've seen what Hollywood can do. So uh, Hollywood fits to what we we, we do, in, you know, scheme wise. And he's such a good athlete. Uh, I think that they were salivating during summer and everything you had, Marcus. They they seen it. They seen it. And so." Yeah, no, it, 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 it's true. Uh, and also, too, you know, he, he didn't we didn't break the bank with Hollywood Brown. It was a up to 13 million dollar deal with like, you know, with an all bait, pretty mm-hmm. much incentive based. Mm-hmm. He didn't play this year. You know, hopefully we treat him right with what's going on medically right now. Hopefully our doctors and staffs taking care of him, which I think they are. But then, you know, he's not going to sign for 11 million next year. He could sign for maybe up to 7 million or, you know, you, you make it a six, seven million dollar contract. And then you say up to 10 million uh, in incentives. You know, I mean, I, I still think he's gonna break the bank on us next year. So I, I think it's definitely, you know, and based on everyone was talking about how good they look together, him and Pat's chemistry and, and rapport. So you know, if I'm Hollywood, bet on myself again, dominate next year, and then maybe break the bank the following season. But um, we'll, we'll see yeah. how that uh, goes. Um, Larry Parker's a go bet. <laughs> LP. <laughs> LP. <laughs> Hi everybody! Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.